Hi, this is Snaily Snail, and today I thought I would share with you some uncomfortable, awkward scenarios that have happened at work. I think I'm only going to share the ones where I've already left the job, you know, so I don't get fired from my current one. So this first job, it was my first office job, and it was kind of weird because you had to exercise at work and then you had to like do videography and then you had to also come up with some sort of like side project and we got to meet lots of community leaders which is pretty cool so one time we were interviewing this mayor and i admit my skirt was like a little bit on the shorter side. Like I think I hiked it up a little bit too much. And the entire video of the interview is probably like somewhere on YouTube, but I'm just like, I'm not going to watch this. After the interview ended, we had to take a photo together and it was just like really awkward when the guy just like made a beeline for me. And then he was just like, I don't know. It was like really weird that he would like hold my waist and everything. Like, because usually I stand off to the side. <laughs> He didn't touch me inappropriately, but I just like felt really uncomfortable from him just like, yeah. So at the same job, we have to put together a presentation. I am just so bad at greeting people. So before the presentation even begins, you're supposed to, you know, like shake hands, say hi, like thank you so much for, you know, letting us interview you and for attending this presentation. The thing was that their like natural greeting is to do the, the kiss on the cheek and I was like, like, what are you doing, you know? I think I was 15 or 16 at the time. So no one has ever kissed me on the cheek like that. And I was just like, what are you doing? But it wasn't just like one person. It was multiple people. So I'm just like, did I miss an etiquette class or something? I think I still get very uncomfortable with people just like kissing me on the cheek. I'm just not used to it. So my first like real job out of college, it was filled with some very interesting characters. So... I think you've heard of the lady who was always complimenting me on my shapely body. That was uncomfortable. Uh, and then there was this other guy. Uh, so I would work out at the gym in the morning. I only went like every other day and then he would go every day or every morning. So we would see each other on the treadmills. And because we started having like a more friendly relationship, I felt a little bit more comfortable asking him to help me out with some of the contracts that I was working on and he would help me out. But you know how usually like when you call a coworker over, you don't directly talk about the work. Sometimes you talk about like sports or something random. Apparently he started talking to the people around me and then I excused myself to use the bathroom before he could like start helping me and he started singing some Nazi song and doing the salute and everything. Yeah, I think everyone was just like, please stop. People like came up to me and was like, did you know that, you know, he, he was like this? And I was like, no, I, I didn't know. Outside of his interest for Germany, he was fine. So I would just make sure I would never bring it up and we would just talk about like the stock market or something. Um, and then at the same job, one day I was working overtime because usually I did a lot of rush deals and they were just like, oh, you don't have children. Uh, why don't you do this deal? So I was working on this deal and then the guy on the other side of the cubicle, I just hear him say like, I have to tell her. I have to tell her. Like, I can't keep this in anymore. <laughs> it just sounded so dramatic. And then he comes over to my cubicle and he goes, hey, we need to talk. And I'm like, okay. And he's like, do you know why I don't like you? I was just like, oh, I thought you were like this with everyone. <laughs> but then he like continues talking and he's like, no, I don't like you. It's like, but it's not because it, like it's you. And I'm like, okay. And he's like, so when I was 20 years old, I dated someone who looks exactly like you. And then we broke up and it was so painful. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry that I remind you of her, but I'm pretty sure she doesn't look like me anymore. He just like continued on and he was just like, so if you ever see me just like glaring at you, don't take it the wrong way. This man was married with three kids and he still hung up on his previous relationship. I'm like, bro. I think it's time to get some counseling. And then at the same job, there was this employee hangout picnic type of thing. So they actually reserved this section in the park. We were able to meet like lots of people and their significant others. And then all of a sudden this guy starts talking about his high school days and he's in his thirties. And then he starts talking about how they used to tease this poor kid in the locker room for having 
both genitalia and I'm like, I'm just speechless. <laughs> and he's like, I didn't tease him. And I'm like, but, but you're using the words. <laughs> and uh, another time, same workplace, we were at a karaoke bar and we were celebrating this person who was leaving after like five or six years with the company. There were lots of drinks involved. By the time I got there with my coworker, uh, there were already like several people there. I ordered a white Russian, then we both sat down. So then the guy who was leaving, he bought some whiskey shots for everyone. And he was like, y'all have to like keep up with us or something. And I was like, okay, like whatever, cause I can handle my drinks. But then the guy from the picnic, he has like five beers in his hand and like on a tray. And he just like puts it on our table and then wanders off. And I was like, yo, like what, what's all the beer for? Like, are, you forgot your beer? <laughs> and he's like, no, no, it's for anyone. And I'm like, okay, cool. But then as the night progresses, I think by this time we're on our like fourth, fifth drink, the man who bought the beers, who was also at the picnic, he starts like breaking beer glasses and he's a little bit incoherent and he spilled beer on me twice. So I was in the ladies room trying to like dry myself off and everything. So at this bar, you sign up for like a time slot and then you say like what song you're performing with and you know, you put both your names cause there are two microphones. But the man who like put all the beer out, he started wrestling with this poor townie. It was like this townie guy's turn to sing and he was wrestling, he stole the mic and he started running around the bar. I was like, oh my God. And then the bouncer was like, is he with you guys? And we're like, no. He had actually told me that day that his landlord was doing something to his apartment. So he's staying at a hotel. So he kept pushing us into going to party, like to continue the party in his hotel room. But by this time, I'm like, it's 11. I usually take the bus to go home. So I was just like, hey, I think it's time for me to go. So then the rest of the night, I would hear from all my other coworkers and oh, it was bad. <laughs> I don't know whose bright idea it was to plan it on a weekday. So when we all went back to work the next day, you can see like who partied a little bit too hard. I think after that night, I was like, okay, I know who I'm gonna party with now and who I should, you know, like watch out for after they break their first glass. The guy ended up breaking like three or four beer glasses and the coworker whose cubicle is right next to me, she also lives in that town. So she was telling me like, oh my God, I really tried to babysit him, but then I lost him. And then the bouncer also kicked him out and I couldn't find him outside. <laughs> So those were some of the uncomfortable experiences that I have faced at work. If you're comfortable sharing any, you can leave them down below. Please remember to drink responsibly and I will see you next week. Bye. And then another time, same workplace. <laughs> oh, I, I think y'all know why I left.